Hi, boys and girls. Thank you for joining me today for the children's message. Pretty soon, we're going to be doing these in person, although I think I still will be putting some online uh, just so those of you who will continue to worship at home can see them. But next week, we start Sunday School in person, and I am so looking forward to seeing you guys again. So uh, we'll have that to look forward to, but I want to talk to you a little bit today about the gospel reading from Mark. Jesus, he's starting his public ministry. He has called some disciples together, and he's doing some really amazing things. He is healing people. He is casting out demons over there, and all the people who were in the town of Capernaum, all of them had gathered to see Jesus, and he did healings and casting out demons, and he was storing people all over the town and the whole town. It's an awful lot of work. So that's how it starts. And at the end, he tells his disciples that, you know, they have to go out all through Galilee, which was the area that Jesus was in. They have to continue this work that they started in Capernaum, and they've got to go everywhere and do the same thing over again. So it's so active. There's so many things going on with the healings and the casting out of demons in the restoring people back to relationship. But something happens before they leave. They go through the rest of Galilee proclaiming um, the good news. And Jesus rests. He goes off by himself and he prays. And sometimes when we are uh, so busy with stuff, we sometimes forget to stop. We sometimes forget to, to take a break, to take a breath so that we can re-energize ourselves for what's next. And I don't know if, if you guys like coffee. This is one of my favorite coffee mugs. I don't know if you can see that maybe backwards as you read it. Um, but it's like if you've got a cup of coffee or for you guys like a cup of milk or water or juice and it's like, pour it out. It's like you... You pour all of it out until there's nothing left to give. And maybe you felt like that if you've been playing too long and you get overexerted. Maybe you, you felt like that if you're doing schoolwork too, too long and your, your brain just goes like a noodle and it won't work anymore. Maybe you, if you've been doing sports for too long and your body just gets so tired you can't continue. Well, our lives of faith are like that too and we can become empty. And Jesus reminds us, as exciting as the work that he has to do is, as wonderful and as important as healing people and casting out demons and sharing the word, it's also very important to rest. And so I want you guys to remember that every week God gives us a day to rest, and we're not very good at keeping it. Uh, these days there's lots of stuff that goes on on the Sabbath. Um, but the Sabbath is really, in this day and age, whatever day you can take uh, to get some rest. Uh, for a lot of us, it's still Sunday when we come to worship. For some of us, it's Saturday evening when we come to worship. Uh, but if you're, maybe you're worshiping online on like a Tuesday or a Wednesday, whenever it fits into your schedule, that is now your Sabbath. But you need to take some time. You got to get this cup filled. You've got to rest. You got to you got to take a break, kids. It's really important so that you can be ready to continue on in the work that Jesus has for us so that you can continue on to play and to get on with the excitement of your call in Jesus. So I want you guys to remember that this week, that whether you're playing or whether you're in a game or whether you're doing schoolwork, you've got to take a break. You've got to rest. And it's no less the same when uh, in our spiritual lives. And so I also uh, want to remind you, though, that after that rest, then you go back to work. Then you go back to work. Uh, thank you, guys. We will see you next week. God's peace be with you.